So you've got Prestige States, which came out with its numbers. Profits were down 51%. The stock's down two-tenths of a percent. 26.3 crore rupees is what they clocked in. Sales were also down by about 57%. Came in at 128-odd crore rupees. Let's get across to the management. We've got... Uh, uh, Wengat K. Uh, Narayan, the CFO of Prestigious States, who's joining us right now on the show to discuss the numbers in greater detail. Uh, you know, thanks a lot for joining. And let's start off first, you know, with the kind of sales and the pace of residential unit sales that you've clocked in, in, you know, in the coming months and what you will see going forward as well. And your overall outlook on the mid-income segment sales. See, if you look at uh, this quarter, the new sales especially have been uh, exceptional. Uh, the projects that we have launched, uh, namely Prestige Tranquility and Prestige Parkview and uh, pre-launch of Prestige Sunny Side, met with very good response. So thereby, if you see our new sales for the quarter is almost around 780 crores uh, worth new sales that we have done. We believe that going forward, since we have strong launch pipeline, I think sales momentum should continue. You know, in the beginning of the year, we had spelt out saying that the, uh, our guidance for the new sales for this fiscal is around 1,500 to 1,600 crores. And as we stand on 30th of September, we have done something like 990 crores. So I, we are confident of achieving the guidance that we have given in terms of new sales. Sure. Any, you know, unrecognized revenues this quarter? How much will reflect in the coming few quarters? See, we have uh, an accounting policy wherein uh, for revenues to start coming for recognition after the sales have been made, we need to reach the 30% trigger in terms of construction cost. So a lot of projects have been sold last year and this year, and they are yet to reach the trigger of 30%. Hence, we have huge amount of unrecognized revenue amounting to 2,450 crores. So as the execution start happening, the project start reaching 30% trigger, we start recognizing revenues. This only means that our top line is already secured for the years uh, uh, ahead. Uh, Venkat, hi, good morning. Prashant here. Quarter after quarter, I mean, your sales in Bangalore have uh, held steady for most players as well. With rates being what they are, are you starting to see some pressure at the margin? Yes, see, uh, it def definitely plays um, uh, impact psychologically in the consumer's mind. Uh, but, uh, you know, fortunately, uh, customers also have realized that uh, it has reached peak and from here it can only go down and uh, there can't be, there is no much room for many more hikes. And also the products have become a lot more affordable. Uh, the tranquility, Prestige Tranquility, the project that we have launched, Mid Income, so uh, is priced at around 30 to 50 lakhs. Uh, so affordability is the criteria. Yes, psychologically interest rates do play mind. But by then, despite all this, uh, the demand uh, for the residential projects uh, has been uh, very good. And once rates start coming down, we believe that it will be even more better. Are you launching a fair bit uh, in terms of new projects this quarter, uh, the October or December period? We have actually put out in the presentation the kind of launcher that we are going to do for this fiscal. Uh, we've done close to five and a half, six million already. And we have under five to six million uh, uh, square feet of launches uh, in the pipeline for this fiscal. Uh, namely, Prestige Bella Vista in Chennai. This is one of our large residential project in Chennai, uh, almost uh, four, four and a half million square feet. And we have Prestige Mayberry one and two coming up. And we have Prestige Summerfield, which is villa project in Outer Ring Road, where next to Prestige Sunnyside, where we have launched. So there are many more projects. I think uh, the rest of the year we'll be launching something sim close to uh, 6 million square feet of residential projects. Sure. Right. So what are the revenues seen, you know, in the form of leasing contracts for the current quarter? Yeah. See, leasing uh, has been quite good this fiscal. Uh, first quarter, ad we had reported after the Q1 results, we've leased almost 1 million square feet. If you look at Q2, uh, we have leased around 0.78 million square feet. Overall leasing has been 1.78. But of course, there are some rent fee period where we give for the tenants uh, to do their interiors. So these leases are yet to start yielding in terms of revenues. Uh, once they start coming in, we believe that our rental income on an annualized basis, this fiscal should be anywhere around 200 crores. So that's where we are looking at. 
and uh, we look at uh, doing an additional uh, one and a half million square feet of leases uh, in the rest of the year. Sure. Any near-term investments lined up for the hospitality ventures that you have in mind? You know, which of the units you plan to open now? No, when you, uh, we have uh, three, four hospitality projects which are under construction. Uh, all of them are uh, uh, very in infant stage. They take at least uh, three to four years from now to mature and become operational. So over a period of three to four years, we have uh, on these hotels a spend of around 800 to 1,000 crores. All right, uh, Venkat, thanks very much for your time. Great to have you here uh, on the show with us. Good luck uh, as far as the October to December uh, period is concerned. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.